Hi there, I'm Alan Udy from the Historical Aviation Film Unit and I'm here at FLIR NZ at Te Kofa Airfield near Hamilton in New Zealand talking to Chris Haynes, the Managing Director of Automation Systems Limited about their Orbit Aircraft Lifting and Movement System. OK, what, what we have here is a, actually a state-of-the-art new machine that we've just uh, uh, brought into production now. Uh, it's an aircraft uh, lifting and uh, moving machine which uh, enables uh, aircraft to be picked up by the, uh, by the main wheels, uh, elevated slightly off the ground, rotated around in any direction you wish, and then uh, can be driven in any direction as well. So what that means is the uh, aircraft can be driven wing first through a narrow opening like a typical hangar door uh, with a lot less risk of any uh, wingtip collision. Uh, means also that inside the hangar the, the aircraft can be positioned more efficiently inside and it is lowered onto, into the, onto the ground and it's, that's basically where it stays, there's no lateral movement or anything. So the, hot, the, the, the unit we have here is uh, size for a Cessna 18172, uh, a 182 and a 206. So basically you drive the unit into the, uh, it picks up the, the uh, main wheels from, from the rear and uh, chocks it and then you can go anywhere you like. So it's a one man operation. Uh, it, uh, it's very simple to use, has a wireless remote control, so you can walk around the whole aircraft while it's moving without having you know, cables or anything like that. So it, it's, it's very cost effective and it's, it's a proven uh, concept as well. It's, uh, it is, it, there's nothing else like it uh, It works on the same principles where there's no stress on any sideways uh, forces on any of the wheels as well while it's been uh, moved or picked up. So it's, uh, you know, it's very low maintenance uh, and, and uh, uses sort of normal uh, components which are readily accessible and we, it's all 12 volt battery power. Well. So where are you at with it? Is it fully in production now? Or? Uh, this, this unit was, was just being manufactured now. We, we, we've had a, a proven uh, proof of concept sort of uh, machine that we built about six months ago. We've just developed this one now to, and, and trying to get in time for the flare event which was uh, there were some very long nights getting this it's been a sort of a Mark II version, but we've got yeah we've got it going now. So uh, in the next couple of weeks we'll have it finished completely, and then then we'll do our, our full final and final trials and just to uh, make sure everything's all good, and then we will start uh, making uh, more units as well. We also uh, uh, where Flair has been really good for, has identified an, another market which we sort of suspected was there, but it's for helicopters. We've had a lot of inquiries already with people saying, can this be adapted for helicopter lifting, which it certainly can, and there's, a, there's some definite advantages over the existing technology that's available. So it's way more flexible, there's a lot more uh, options for, for the, the owners that, you know, to move their equipment. So yeah, I think it's going to go... Uh, so you're better. looking um, primarily at a domestic market or international market, or start with one and then move to the other? We'll be starting with one, but uh, New Zealand Trade and Enterprise are helping us with that, uh, which is great. Uh, we sort of value their assistance. Um, greatly. Uh, definitely in the, in the local market first, we'll, we'll sort of get a lot of feedback from the, the clients and, and see uh, you know, if there's things we can improve on maybe or more features, uh, you know, see where, where the, exactly we need to be in the market, where, where the, the best opportunities are, but we're definitely looking at uh, the US. Uh, this unit's size for uh, Cessnas at the moment, for the, the 172, 182, 206. Uh, but it's also scalable up, you know, up scalable to uh, other large aircraft too.